everyone, that's Dorota Palicka, international nail artist and educator here and I have prepared a nice and easy design for you. Have a preview of it in here. I know guys you like those type of uh, designs which we can achieve pretty quick and I do really hope you will enjoy this one as well. So let's start. I've got my tips ready so we can play with the fun design. I will show you on the one, uh, but obviously we'll do a different effects uh, on it. It's so easy um, and there is so many options and possibilities. So as a background, we are going to use 183, which is a black ink. And I'm going to quickly paint those tips in that color. You're also gonna need some cat eye, but we will do a few different ones just so you could uh, see more options and possibilities with this fun design. They actually awesome because usually clients are very impressed like uh, if we do something very quick out of nothing uh, and then it looks super cool. And obviously you don't need like um, super artistic skills or, or uh, lots of experience to be able to do those fun designs. I'm applying the black really thin and kind of working it through it, um, but at the same time I'm trying to do it with the one coat, just to save the time. Okay, cook it in, and the next one. Pigments are always fun to play. And then cook this one too. Okay, our next step is to grab some cat eye and I will do it uh, on some different ones. So we will use, let's do this one first. And that's a number 003 Persian. So I've got my first tip, re first tip ready and we're going to apply those cat eye. It looks quite nice on its own without of cut eye effect. But once we put those cut eye effect, it's even prettier. So look at this. I'm just going to push the magnet in there and the cut eye is start showing up. And then from the top, from the sides, and then go back and do what I did it in the first place. It's really beautiful and it's showing and disappearing. Okay, I'm happy with this look, so I'm going to cure it. Then on the next one, we are going to put the rainbow one. And then use the magnet. On the black, the cat eyes are always more visible. Oh, 
So I'm just trying to get those rainbow effect. Okay, hold it there. That looks already quite pretty. Let's make it bigger. And we've got the rainbow there. And the last cut eye, so that's 002. Again, that looks amazing on its own. really pretty. You could do different patterns like with the cat eye. I kind of want some spaces to be quite intense and then some black space as well. That's perfect. Okay, so I've got some interesting effect in there. <laughs> And then my first tip is ready for a matte top coat. So um, we are going to apply a matte top coat over it. What else you could do it is you could apply the um, shine top coat and then buff it. Actually, I might do it two ways. So uh, if you don't have a top coat, which is matte, you could just apply the high shine. No way, top gel. And then buff. And then buff. And Personally, I prefer this way. I do always prefer it this way because you get a nicer results. Maybe it looks like it's a kind of more time consuming, but overall uh, it's a better option. So on most of them, I'm going to do it this way and on one, I will do it matte just to show you the difference. Because this is a very common question, guy. I've got just one black plain tip and we will do it on a plain black as well because in general, I think this design looks awesome on its own as well. Like uh, you don't have to do any cut eye effect underneath. It looks fantastic too. And then I should have last one somewhere. No, that's the one. It looks awesome. I actually love that cut eye. Really interesting and really intense results. And then the matte top coat over it. And then give it a cook. So I'm curing it uh, 60 seconds, all of it. And in the meantime, I've got time to prepare my next product. So that's the uh, white um, French gel. So I'm just grabbing a scoop of it, put on the side, and then open up my pigments. So for pigments, you guys know that I like to use the baby wipe, just so I can just bin all the mess. Okay, and we will just open those pigments. I should buff the tips first, but I want to save your time. I should actually wear the gloves playing with the pigments, especially as I've got some 3D design. By the way, this video is up on the channel as well, if you like my nails. Any kind of nails you see uh, me wearing, uh, there are the videos on the channel, how they have been created. <clears throat> Okay, let's take the first tip. So that was the black one on its own. I'm just going to grab the buffer. Take like kind of old buffer. You don't want the buffer which is too brand new because it will create too many scratches. And if you've got too many scratches, the pigments are going to get stuck in there, okay? So first of all, what we're doing is we're smoothing out the surface 
which is really good for um, for the overall look because you get a nicer results and then also it gets your pigment to not stock in there but if you do use a brand new one you will create too many scratches where the pigment can get stuck okay so I sometimes get this question as well guys when we doing some sort of designs where we buffing like people saying like oh my pigment gets stuck in there um, that's because you have created two big scratches I'm using a blue scrap just to dehydrate it okay and now this is a teeth brush like the one which you clean in between your teeth and uh, I find that it's super cool actually to use it for the designs so I'm just dipping it into the um, uh, white French gel and then I'm going to start creating a super cool design and you cannot go wrong with it you know you just keep touching uh, some places where you've got more product less product uh, and you can create a beautiful design with it uh, I'm going to go kind of more rounded way so that's the pattern I want to have and then leave some empty space as well the next step is to cure it so we are going to cure it 60 seconds that's the one with the matte top coat so what I'm doing is I'm still gonna buff it uh, as well the matte top coats are I feel are usually a little bit thicker uh, than the um, high shine top coats like the no wipe top coats um, so I do prefer the, the other ones because I would still buff it otherwise my pigment would get stuck um, on top of the um, the color which I don't want the pigment to be there okay so give it those couple scratches clean it as well and then do another design so I'm checking how the cut eye is reflecting because I don't want to cover too much of those cut eye effect like I think it's pretty cool so I'm just going to do quite delicate work in this one more from the top and a little bit going to the sides And you know those kind of abstract designs are really fashion at the moment people want those kind of line work and abstract designs as well so I think it's super cool idea okay this one is done then on this one we will go and use different tool <laughs> Um, because I also want to show you that you can play with anything which comes to your mind so feel free to create your own way of doing those uh, pigment designs I shouldn't be having the pigments open on my table when I'm doing the buffing guys okay clean it And this time we are going to take some clean film. So a drop of the paint on French. I'm just going to cut it into smaller pieces so it's more manageable for me to hold it. Make it kind of bendy. So what you want to do it is, there we are. We've, we have created some kind of texture in there and then go and pick up your white and then touch it. Okay, so again, you have created kind of abstract design which you can cure it. What else you could use for this designs is the stamper. Like if you've got an old stamper, uh, you could put your stuff into the stamper as well and just stamp it on. Okay, so I'm buffing another one. I actually quite like the, the, the brush. Uh, I think it gives quite nice patterns and I will try another type of pattern here. 
So this time, instead of touching, I'm going to scratch it. Like this, just so we've got something different. And then cure it. Okay, step number two is pick up some pigments. <clears throat> and then start the fun. So for the pigments, you can use the eyeshadow applicator. And I've got some yellow here. That looks super cool. Then green. And you can see it on the black, it stands out like a lot. Uh, I wouldn't recommend using um, the um, two light colors because you could get it at uh, pretty messy as a, background. as a background yes I mean you could but then what you really want to do it is you want to cure your white gel really decently oh that looks so pretty because if you cure it really decent uh, there is less inhibition layer because what sometimes happen is if you've got too much inhibition layer, when you're rubbing those pigments, you are going to move those inhibition layer into the places you don't want. So my paint French was really, really um, dry cured. And this way I can get quite clean uh, look uh, without of smudging the pigments, okay? So this is a top tip for you. Uh, make sure you kind of almost over cure your product so it has little inhibition layer, because uh, if it has too much, you are moving those inhibition layer and you will get a very dirty look. You like me for that tip, don't you? <laughs> okay, so we are going to apply the top coat. On, on black, it looks fantastic. Like, I mean, it looks absolutely amazing. Look at this, when we put the top coat, uh, the blacks becomes really black and the pigments are more intense. Uh, really beautiful designs. I love them, like they're so simple and so effective. Okay, so I've got another one. This one should not necessarily. So these parts are ready. I would worry a little bit about this part uh, that I might, I will do this one first. Um, yeah, that it might be not uh, cured enough. So because I've got those orangey pinky color in there, that's what I'm going to stick with. So we are going to put some pink in here. See, you can see it, I have got more pigment in here, uh, stick in. So that's mean this part, because we have applied it thicker, um, isn't cured the same like the part where we've got a little product. So keep that in mind as well when, you, uh, when you're doing a designs like, um, the important theory for that is when we're doing a transfer foil, that's depending on the thickness of the product, product is going to cure differently. Okay, so keep that in mind guys as well. So my pigments are wrapped in. Also those soft brushes, we stock them on our website as well. And uh, they are fantastic for clearing off the excess of the pigments or excess of the chrome. Because uh, um, if you've got too rough brush, you might remove too much uh, of the pigment. Okay, top coat over it. And this is going to be quite interesting look. Because we've got those cat eye underneath. Okay, I'm going to pick up another one. Oh, that was the last one, but I can see it is quite matte. So if it's matte, that means it's kind of ready. Uh, if it's not as uh, shiny. So I've got some blue in here and I'm going to do it blue and purple. Like I'm trying to keep the colors. Uh, we use it for the, so this was a perfect curing time because the pigment sticks in nice, but it doesn't stick into any other surface. Okay, so you need to work out your curing time as well. And then the purple one. That is so pretty. I already love this one. Remove the excess. Sorry, I'm pulling this from the camera a little bit because uh, I don't want to put different colors of the pigment into my open pots. Oh, wow. And then this blue showing from underneath. I love this one. 
I'm not rubbing too much pigment. I want very little pigment. This way you get kind of more pastel looks as well. I think it's pretty beautiful design with this cup eye showing through. And then this one I can do, I can do, I can do pink and orange. Cameraman, would you like to pick some color? Too late. <laughs> Too late actually, yeah. <laughs> what did you want it? Green or blue? Green. Oh yes, that's what looked cool as well. And we did we not do it? Not really. Not really. Okay. Not for this one. Okay, and then take a brush, clean it off. I love this one. I do really love this one. It looks so pretty. Oh wow, I love it! <laughs> Three colors look so cool. Top coated. And then we've got all designs. Really easy and fun to do it. So I'm going to cook them and then show you the final look because I think it's nice to see them all together. But before that, I actually wasn't even messy. I can't believe I didn't make a big mess playing with the pigment. I'm well impressed. Maybe because I have tried to apply very small amount of it. Um, like to get, to don't get those intense, intense look. Because um, if you would put more pigment and if you would uh, cure it shorter time, uh, the colors would be more neon. Um, but if you kind of cure it longer, and you apply less pigment, then you've got more of a pastel-y uh, neon. Um, and I did really prefer it, those kind of look. So, oh, we did green and blue as well. Uh, so that's how it looks on a black, on its own. I think it's pretty, pretty nice. Uh, let's put it there. I shouldn't be touching the Freshly Cure Top Coat um, because any kind of top coat, even if it's not a wipe, no, oh, I love this one as well. It's so pretty. Even if it's a no wipe top gel, it has a tiny bit of the inhibition layer. So ideally we want to wait for the tip to cool and then press it down with the fingers. Oh, and this one is cool as well. I actually love this one too. Tell me which technique was your favorite one, which one you have liked the most. And uh, I'm looking forward to... Oh, they cool. They are really cool. Honestly, they are cool. Let's do get this one here, because it's a pink one with pink one. And then this one should be there because I've got some yellow, so it connects with yellow. They are cool, actually. They, they look awesome, isn't it? And I'm going to show you the cat eye effect as well, like, just so you can see it. They look amazing. Honestly, they do really look amazing. I hope you have guys really enjoyed this uh, short, quick and easy, very impressive video. Uh, I'm sending you glittery hugs and bye for now.